Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and today I actually have a brand new guest. Uh, this this is my, my good friend Gummy and they're joining me for this adventure that I have. Hi, I'm Gummy. <laughs> uh, I do art stuff. I'm here to as a guest and I found this um, this really interesting comic <laughs> <laughs> about uh, what's his name? Uh, striker? Yeah. Striker and, um, Blitzo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's that's... considered a crack ship, but it's definitely cursed in some way. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was expecting, like, all the Stola stuff, and I saw this, and I'm like, well, let's, let's give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, this fanfiction is called An Unexpected Relationship, a Blitzo X Striker. And I gotta say, I love the book card. It's so real. Yeah, it's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's gonna be who? I don't know yet, but the description does read that during the festival, when Stryker tried to assassinate Solas, Blitzo appears to stop him, but what he didn't know was Stryker wanted him there. I, I don't I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> That's crazy. It's real. <laughs> I want to see how much is pulled from the actual episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, wonder how accurate this will be. If it, you know, I mean, accuracy went out the window, but still. Yeah. <laughs> um, Would you like to start as Blitzo, um, or Stolas? Um, I can read for Stolas. Okay. Who, who's gonna be the narrator? Um, I can do that. Okay. Let's go POV. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay. I sat on Stolas' bed, lighting the sig, and he stretched, turning to me. I, oh. <laughs> you good? You good? I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry for removing our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. I took my sig and burnt the ropes that it's Solis' hands tied. Together. Odd. <laughs> when this happens, it's not really something I fuss about, but do you need the book for this far bullshit? <laughs> There's like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually extremely important and shouldn't be lent out to itty bitty imps like yourself. <laughs> is important supposed to be spelled like important? <laughs> Okay. That didn't even register to me <laughs> that it was spelled yes. incorrectly. <laughs> he said, pinching my cheek. I pushed his hand away and he began speaking again. The Harvest Moon Festival is a very special occasion. It has been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. I had found a feather in my mouth, coughing it out. <laughs> <laughs> It's a celebration by a very charming little festival for the locals. I thought for a moment. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. i never really been. Heard it's full of inbred... <laughs> inbred... <laughs> well... In, in the bread. <laughs> well, this is very accurate to the episode so far. <laughs> Still is perked up. Oh, how about you all join me at the festival? I can guarantee you all. Sp <laughs> oh yeah, under it's the so covers cool. and stared at me from them. <laughs> Special access. <laughs> he began wa laughing weirdly. Look, I told you we're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-off time that we done badly. I'm simply offering a work-free day of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival, as it's the same every year. Well, if you promise it's not some fuck fuck to invite, <laughs> it sounds like it could be a blast at and a half. Not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. <laughs> this is accurate to the episode so far. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> it's your turn. Yes. 
Oh, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, your clients will have to wait. He said in a baby voice, I perked up. Called it. Oh, fuck, my clients. He <laughs> called Moxie and immediately hung up. <laughs> I tried again and he answered. Uh, you can be Moxie. Alrighty. What do you want, sir? <laughs> I overheard Moxie on the phone <laughs> and heard the jamboree while shooting up. <laughs> oh, oh, Millie, oh. <laughs> the Harvest Moon Festival, ye fucking- <laughs> <laughs> Well, Millie likes the idea. Wait, where are you calling from? <laughs> then the ceiling from our roof collapsed and reveal our boss purring. Moxie just hummed. Of course. <laughs> we arrived at a farm and I ran out of the van. Daddy! Mama! My dad picked up my- uh, picked me up, ruffled my hair, and put me down. I- I can read for Joe. <laughs> yeah. How's my day li deadly little pumpkin spies doing? <laughs> Got that North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> You're right! Good pop! Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree! <laughs> it's no trouble. We know you're not making as much since y'all went freelance. Freelance pays fine, Ma! We're doing it fine! It's fine! <laughs> I walked over to a struggling Moxie. Anyway, y'all remember my husband Moxie, <laughs> right? <laughs> Moxie started talking to his parents while I, while I helped Blitzo a bit until he burst it out. Hey, watch it. I'm the sir here, fucko. Oh yeah, y'all haven't met my boss Blitz and his hellhound. <laughs> Luna start, started talking for once. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Blitz's eyes lit up. <laughs> Only on paper. Y'all don't deserve to know my name. She continues doing whatever she was doing on her phone. Walk forward. It's our pleasure. It's a pleasure to finally meet the Spurs and Pick Factory that popped up out this little gem of an assassin. Moxie looked over to us. You raised a sturdy bitch. <coughs> pa chuckled and took Blitz's hand. Yeah, we did. So. Blitz, was it? Heh, <laughs> that's a fine name. <laughs> Reminds me of war. They were in awe. Nothing like a little war to make a man strong. <laughs> <laughs> I like you people. Then Moxie started going on about what he saw about war and then saw my parents' expressions. Uh, I, I mean, we're fun. <laughs> Guns get the job done, but a man ain't nothing if he can't do the heads off of a hellish beast with his own bare hands. <laughs> Woodso started laughing at my papa's statement and went to Mox. He's right, Moxie. You got a little baby hands like your baby d- <laughs> <laughs> Refrain, sir. <laughs> we could add his stick one more time before Millie's dad started talking again. Speaking of strong hands, y'all haven't met our new help. I strike! <laughs> After that, I can hear horse steps and seeing a horse in the distance becoming in, becoming in love with a horse. Oh, he, oh yeah, it's Wait, well, canon that Blitz loves oh. horses. <laughs> oh, ha. Right, you'll, you, you can be the honor of Striker. Uh, you know what? It's an honor. <laughs> <laughs> well, howdy. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from your folks, little lady. Millie then got flustered. Oh! <laughs> she started laughing as, and Stryker, as what his name was, started speaking again. What are y'all doing so far away from Imp City, huh? The free work finally slowing down? <laughs> no, freelance isn't free. It's. Ah, oh, never mind. We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boy friend. I walked over to her. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. <laughs> boss, huh? 
Oh, sear the bold imp that started his own killing biz. <laughs> yeah, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. <laughs> <laughs> Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. He winked at me, and I became <laughs> flustered <laughs> as well. Oh, yeah, it it is. I, I, I guess this it is, isn't it? So, you even calling that little ditzy blue blood and getting you to the surface? Well, it's a long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. But he's not like, you know, we're not like, we're not doing a, what's in between? <laughs> it's a transition, transactional fucking, you see? <laughs> Sharker point of view! <laughs> Oh, after the boss man finished starting, Joe started talking. You know, you boys should enter in the pain games. <laughs> Blitzo shuffled over to him, got excited. I heard games. What games? I'm in. Every harvest festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bass, <laughs> bats taller than <laughs> rat. Mildred joined it. Yeah, wish I could play. No, we know you get too, too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. <laughs> I'm aware, but I only caused nine of them. How come Sally may still get to compete? Your sister doesn't have a neighborhood ahead count. She so does. Just then, Sally and her little brother came along with a dead body. <laughs> it doesn't count if they don't find the body. <laughs> Still, you get to root for her and your brothers. Now you can chi for. It's smaller male ink touched Lynn's shoulder. <laughs> you know. You know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was Moxie. <laughs> it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, she can also cheer for me. <laughs> annoyed, but I was enjoying this. Joe started laughing. <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah, I can compete, can't I? She elbowed him and he looked in pain. <laughs> Sorry, boy, but I don't think the sensible is sensitive- what the fuck does that say? <laughs> Best- thespian? Sensitive thespian types won't last very long in the games. I was born here, too. I got some fun in me. He put on an accent and I came up with an idea. I went over to him. Huh. Well then, little fella, why don't you try to help me ring up one of those hogs for dinner? Simple. Watch me. He had went to get his gun out, oh, but I dropped a rope and dagger in his hands. Nah, with these. Bullets can't pierce the shell, so you gotta get the knife underneath them and pry yourself an opening. Oh, right, right, I knew that. I walked off while Blitz was telling him something and pushed him over. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mox, you don't have to do this. Oh, he totally does. Heck, it's ass, Moxie! <laughs> yeah! As he approached the hog, I thought he was doing good until he tried to stab the shell and failed. Blitz started yelling shit. That's run on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is just <laughs> one thing. Ride it, Moxie! Make it that bitch! <laughs> Toe won't call back in the morning! Time. I saw the hellhound and boss man talking and he went back to yelling. I got sick of it so I jumped in, pushed the little fella off, and took care of it. Oh! My clavicle! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, little one. You never stood a chance. Hey, boss man, you wanna help me? Want to help the man skin this thing for dinner? He looked over at us. Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the <laughs> man. That's what she said. Blitzo looked confused and burst out in rage. What? Who said? Wait, what? The bitch talking shit about me? <laughs> I put a caster on my husband's arm and sighed. Don't let him get to you. And hey, you don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. <laughs> Uh, no they won't. <laughs> I gave her- I 
gave her death stare and she just shrugged. What? I'm Ryan, aren't I? Oh, I'm I entering decided. those games. <laughs> <laughs> I just sighed and Sal came, came closer. How puss would you be if I bet on him dying? <laughs> I forgot Walk Wally Wackford was a character. Who is that again? Hold on, hold on. He's, I, I need to see who this is. He, he's like, he's, he's like tries to like rip people off by like quick, quick like marketing schemes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, I say welcome all to the Wrath Rings <laughs> Annual Harvest Moon Festival. To kick things off, we have <laughs> Richard Stolas, Stolas a, a here to usher in this here pain games. Stolas got up from his chair, walked over, and took the mic off. Wally, Wally, and Wally and chuckled before looking at the imps. How kind, Wackford. Greetings, little wrath in ring imps. I hereby welcome to y'all an another year of celebrating the spoils of your labor that continue to free the citizens of hell. I'm happy to kick off these games that will challenge the toughest imp to show their skilled <laughs> in dominance. <laughs> Good luck to you all. Especially that sexy one over there. yoo -hoo, Blitzy! <laughs> well, this all looked away muttering, fuck me, under his breath. Stryker looked at him as... If he would like <laughs> As the gunshot went off, a bunch of male imps started running as fast as they could. First was an obstacle course. Stryker leapt and grabbed the top of the wall about to climb over while Blitzo used Stryker's head to get over. <laughs> Moxie, on the other hand, had started falling on the other side of the wall, landing into some water before being injured by a shark. <laughs> Next, Stryker showed off holding Blitzo with his rope and not trying. All the girls fangirled over him. On the other side, Moxie was surrounded by taller <laughs> imps. It, it then cuts to tug of war where Moxie fell in the water again, and the shark tried <laughs> to eat him. And back to mud restling. <laughs> Blitzo started topping it. Like, whoa, whoa. Kinky. <laughs> Stryker looking into Blitzo's eyes if he would kiss him, but it cuts to Moxie being pilled on. <laughs> when the imps get uffed, uffed, uffed him, the shark appered again. <laughs> Mother <f> <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. Blitzo's POV. As Wally starts taking to the imps, I turn to Stryker and start talking to him. Oh, hey. How about you join IMP? <laughs> Love it. I'll think about it, Blitz. I like life here. Oh, okay. You're a nice guy, you know that? Yeah. Here, here, they're about to dance the winners. Come on. He walked over to the stand. The winners are Stryker... And my darling Blitzy! <laughs> Say my name right! He's a fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> so he has the physical advantage. I'm better at other things, like singing. I like to dedicate- I like to take this opportunity to sing a song I made just now about me winning. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I went to the food stalls to get something to eat while we waited for Stryker to finish his shit when the seller started talking to him. You know, Stryker isn't into the lassies. He's getting <laughs> really rich. <laughs> He's got- that's like the guy- like that guy that you go to for all the tea in the town. <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> really? I always thought he'd end up dating one of the fangirls. Nah, I saw all he looks at ya. He might want my day. <laughs> I, com I completely went red as I could. Yeah, like, uh, I'm a doge. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Wait, no. I don't know, man. How much? Five souls. I paid and went to Moxie and Millie. Hey, is this guy great? False. <laughs> Hmm, it's gonna be great working with him. 
I put ketchup on my food and took another bite. Well, okay. Working with... Wait, what? Yeah, I asked him, him <clears throat> to join IMP. You asked... But... Max, you, you've had enough. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. <laughs> Singing, Moxie, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Did you hear something? It was just the wind. <laughs> Moxie teared up and ran away with Millie following behind. I sat behind until Stryker finished talking to people, and then he came over to me. Enjoy the song. Yeah, it was good. The song is now my favorite. Oh, really? Uh, we should head back. Strick. Strike. It's getting late. All right then. Want to hop on bomb proof? No, 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 no. It's all it's our light. <laughs> oh yeah, you're my bad. Our light then. Want to hop on bomb proof and ride her with me? My eyes lit up and I started jumping up and down like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I ran over to her while Striker just walked. I got on her then Striker was sat behind me. I can fe feel butterflies in my stomach, but ignored it, riding her back. Blitz, why is the O silent in your name? <laughs> um, that's a thing only Mox, Millie, and Luna know. I don't really want to share. He got closer to me, comforting me. Sorry, Blitz. <laughs> Didn't mean to make you un you uncomfortable. <laughs> Nuzzled his head into my neck, and that was us until we got back to the house. He's like goes as fast as character AI. <laughs> I think this is you? Yeah. He really was warming up to you. Joe helped me get down with Stryker clinging to me. Stryker, come on, you got some chores to do. He groaned a response and left eye on the other hand sat with bomb proof for a bit. Striker POV. I was heading upstairs when I saw that my door was open and saw Moxie. Why? Didn't you ask? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Uh, why do you have this, mister? You are aware that this kind of weapon can kill demon royalty. Yeah, that. No shit. That's the kind of the point. Okay, I, I, I am relatively <laughs> concerned by your. I don't think that's how you spell possession. <laughs> no, possession. Potassium of this, and I'm actually glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. <laughs> I wrapped my tail around Moxie's neck and threw him across the room, crashed into the wall. I jumped on top of him, holding his neck again. He started trying to scratch my face and started bashing the ground with his hooves. Then he kicked my drawers and face landed on my head. He got up to ram the door no, to the door, but I grabbed his tail and pulled it back. I started suffocating him. Heh. <coughs> Pathetic. Then I got stabbed in the back by his wife. She started attacking me. She jammed on my shoulders, tr tried to stab my neck, but I threw her down next to Moxie. Millie! <laughs> I then grabbed them by- grabbed them both by the hair, went down, and threw them into the basin. Millie? Oh my crumbs! I'd kill y'all, but I- but you little things ain't worth the cleanup. Plus, I think there's more leverage of- with your rodeo hot man of a boss if I don't. God. I closed the door and locked it, getting on bomb proof, going to set up for the festival. Blitz o POV. It was a long ass I first found... chapter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a introduction. <laughs> Blitz o POV. I found a building to hide in the saw striker holding an angel riffle aimed at Stolas. Uh, excuse me, the fuck? Blitz, I thought you were back at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a thirsty owl <laughs> on stage? 
Huh. Now you seem disappointed in me. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of someone I offered a job to off, about to off my easiest lanky ticket to Earth behind my back. Blitz, come on. You know the two of us are more superior than most of our kind. He started walking towards me and I wanted something to happen. What? <laughs> what did that come from? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> All in, right. And you're so above sucking a disgusting rich pump is... What the... Goetia, only I to see. Really? I thought you meant Goetia, like the the family line. <laughs> sure. Oh, oh, yeah. Now we get okay. Never mind. Only to seek topside for scraps and to work for better sinners who couldn't care less of who you are when you could be slaying overworlds. Why run a business that's rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable? Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. <laughs> oh my god. He pinned me against the wall, staring at my lips hungrily. <laughs> uh, that's kinda. <laughs> we can be the most dangerous beings in hell. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't remember this. This is, this, like, character AI shit. This is off- this is off-script right now. <laughs> wow. That's a good fucking bitch. <laughs> it works out. He moved the gun, I dropped it, and he moves closer. No. Our lips touching. He- <laughs> He moved his left hand from my head to my neck while giving me hickeys. Ugh, strike, striker. <laughs> My tail was moving rapidly. With me wanting this, my horns felt sensitive. Calm down, Blitzy. I'll take care of- Fuck no! <laughs> Moxie kicked down- Kicked the door down, saw me peeing top. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> um, uh, hook you long enough, Mox? I knew you loved me, but I- <laughs> But I- but I know you're stopping me from killing Stolas, so let's make it simple and I won't kill him if I take you with me. I won't see IMP anymore, would I? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say it. <laughs> oh shit, I, my bad. <laughs> it didn't register, that was for Moxie. <laughs> In your wet dreams. <laughs> Striker threw me on the bed while I was stunned. Moxie and him started fighting. I couldn't uh, hear or feel anything. I was just in my head stuck. It wasn't until I heard Luna crash through the door. Moxie, why did you fucking call? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Luna's the only person who knows how I get sometimes, but I heard Moxie curse and Striker was at the window. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll get me next time, Moxie. Now I love your fucking adorable boss unconditionally. Luna sat next to me, hugging me, and Moxie ran over, asking me tons of questions, but I only heard Luna's voice. Moxie, calm your fucking shit. Blitz is fine. He's just in a space where someone he loves romantically fights with someone he cares for. Oh, that's a huge. Like that. <laughs> He... he cares? Lana. Of course he does. He just doesn't know how to show it. <laughs> and with that, I fell asleep. Luna, Luna POV. I sat Blitzo in the van so he could rest and overheard Millie's mum talking to her. I can't believe you let him trap you like that, Millie. We taught you better. I was seeing Red Ma and he was slippery. Excuses. You knew better than that, Mildred. You know, she protected me and herself. And I know I might be a strong, a big, strong, beefy shit, but Millie has the strength for both of us. You two are getting on her, our case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired. Shame on you. Millie seemed to be happy with Moxie, and her father just nodded. Wow. He nodded? He's never acknowledged your input before. So, is that progress? <laughs> Striker POV. 
I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! <laughs> Understood. I'll get him in Mia Moore next time. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, uh, chapter, that is chapter one. The holy shit. <laughs> that was long. I think it's the last chapter. Where does it go from here? That means they improvise the rest of the shit. <laughs> right, continue. Need a next part. Okay, there's there's more. Anxiety. <laughs> Would you like to read one more for this episode? Absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as slow. Right, chapter two. Anxiety. Hi. Says Blitz up. Wait. <laughs> I don't see that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just I was in the middle of the thing. <laughs> no wonder why I was like, huh? Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blitz OP. I woke up head fuzzy from recent events. Then I immediately rushed up. <laughs> Fuck. Where's my stuff? Calm down, Blitzo. Your stuff is in your room. You're in the living room. Do you want me to call or text Eminem so they know you're okay? That would be nice. Yeah. Thanks, Looney. No problem, Dad. I stared at her with hearts in my eyes. She just rolled hers and left the room. I saw my phone on the table and picked it up to see someone's number put into it. <laughs> Unknown. I say, hello? Howdy, Blitz. <laughs> Striker, how did you get my number? You changed to unknown to Striker. <laughs> <laughs> the Hellhound gave me your number when you were still mad at Mildred's parents. <laughs> hmm. Where are you staying now? I bet Mill's parents kicked you out. Oh, nah, I ran. Didn't want to face them. I like how Striker has a heart emoji. <laughs> yeah. But aren't you a big and powerful imp? <laughs> we could be, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Splitzel have a heart now? <laughs> what? Wait. Why does it keep changing? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, they forgot. Um, Oh, over text. Luna's calling me. Gotta go. Our... Our roll. <laughs> See ya and stuff. Right. Heart emoji, yeah. I sat up on the couch until my door got burst down by a very panicky Moxie. Mox? What the frick? I'm glad you're doing okay. He jammed on me, <laughs> hugging me. Millie, what the fuck happened? Well, when we were at festival, Striker tried to kill Stolas. He almost fucked you, according to Mox. He got away, but Mox, he won't tell me anything else. My dad did not at him, right? <laughs> my brain just kind of crashed in how fast Millie spoke, but it all rendered in my head and I moved Moxie off of me. Okay, he was paid to kill Stolas, I know that. He did also try fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doming me more than Stolas would at that man. Anyway, <laughs> him and Moxie started fighting, but I, but I was just sat on the bed. <laughs> Cause Striker, Cause Striker put me there, frozen. I couldn't hear anything around me until Looney kicked down the door and ran over to, to me, trying to come trying to hurt me. But good on you, Mox. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. Eh, don't really care right now, I'm still tired. <laughs> I kicked Moxie off the couch. So if you don't mind, I'm going to sleep. With that, I fell in a deep sleep. Luna POV. After Eminem left, I moved Blitzo to his bed and saw he had notifications. Oh no. I looked at his phone so I was from Striker. I decided to copy his number to my phone and message him. Striker. Hey, it's Luna. I just wanted to tell you Blitzo's sleeping, so don't blow up, blow his phone up. Ah, uh, okay. I was wondering why he wasn't answering. I'm a go now, bye. <laughs> Third person. I love, I love how they're I just the messaging the, so the, <laughs> the guy. Yeah. <laughs> that is so weird. He started shaking in his sleep. She walked over to him, gave him his little stuffy. A horse, of course. <laughs> then Blitzo started calming down in his sleep. Imp office? How? 
Blitzo, Moxie, Million Luna, all sat in the off offid, staring at the ripple. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with it, sir? We're keeping it, Mox, so we can't kill Stolas. Do you even care if he kills Stolas? You know he sees you as a play. Fucking shut it, Moxie. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Blitz. He's still anxious. Fine, Mills. Gonna take some time off. He then left the room and went back to the, to the back of the building and made a call. Pick up, pick up. Yes, hello? Blitz, you alright? My god. Fuck, uh. No, I think I've just left IMP. Where are you? As in the company or the building? The building, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, well, but alright, I'll be there in five minutes. Thank fuck. I'm at the back of the building. Alright. hung up the call. <laughs> <laughs> Sat down, he took a breather, pulled out a cig, and had a smoke. He then saw bomb pr proof, knowing Stryker was on her. <laughs> that, that was part of the thing. Okay. Hi! I swear, if you're gonna be- hold on. <laughs> I gotta fix my country accent. <laughs> I swear, if you're gonna be in energetic the whole time, I'm going to kill you. Judging from what you've done to me at the festival, you won't. Now help me up and let me in the front. Fine, fine then. <laughs> Striker got off bomb proof, picking Blitzo up and sitting him on the horse. Stryker then followed and got on the horse. Where would you like to go now, lovely? Hmm, how about... No. How about your place, if you have one? I, of course, have a place. But we need to drop bomb-proof here off at the stables near here. Oh, okay. The rest of the ride gone silent. Stryker started kissing and biting at <laughs> What's his neck? Stryker. That's really bold of you. <laughs> yeah. Calm down, boss man. Just teasing you. On Lance. <laughs> Just shut up. Striker hummed a response, resting his head on Blitz's neck, nuzzling it. No. On a horse? Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, I can see that. Okay. <laughs> Blitzo sat on Striker's bed. Okay, we're we're in the on a bed now. Yep. Time skip apparently. <laughs> okay. There's no like view of the house or. Okay. Never mind. And Blitzo sat in Stryker's bed as he started making food. The room was similar to the one at Millie's parents' house. I guess that's a description. Yep. Hey, Stryker. Stryker came in the room, leaning on the door. Yes, Blitz? No, this is not realistic or oh, whatever. <laughs> what if I told you I kind of wanted Stolas gone? Stryker walked over and sat next to him. Damn, this would be crazy. This fanfiction ended with him just killing Stolas and just li just, them yeah, living happily ever. I hope not. I hope not either. But I feel like it's gonna go in that direction. <laughs> no, my love. <laughs> what do you mean, Blitz? Well, me and him, I not fuck so I can keep my business going, and uh, he usually does it without consent. A couple nights ago, when we were still at the festival, he grabbed me and fucked me behind the stage. Striker's eyes were <laughs> burning with a jealous rage. <laughs> that fuck. <laughs> Who even hired you to kill Stolas? Can't say. Safety precautions. Took out a cig and started smoking it. Blitzo had an idea on who it was, but he never said anything about it. Blitzo yawned, catching Striker's attention. I'll text your daughter so she knows that you're safe, okay? I can text her, just please stay with me. Oh, of course, Darl. <laughs> Let's arrest his head on Stryker's shoulder, got his phone out and texted Luna telling her he's at Stryker's house. Done. Alright now, you need food. Don't think I haven't noticed. Well, what do you mean? Flashback! Blitzo's POV. <laughs> fuck, fuck, where are they? I rummaged through my bag trying to find my meds and then heard Stryker. You alright, boss man? Uh, yep. Uh, perfect. I start coughing up blood. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit. Stryker walked over and saw a packet of meds. Or medication. 
Is this what you need? I just found it. I snatched the meds out of Striker's hand and took four. Took a deep breath and calmed down. Mind explaining? I don't know how to explain it, but these tablets help me with eating more. This is the first time in months I took them. I coughed a couple more timed, and Striker pulled me into a hug on the bed, rubbing my back. It was calming. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'm here. You're fine. <laughs> my eyes became heavy, and I slowly fell asleep in his arms. End of flashback. Blitzo sat on the chair, Striker putting a plate of food in front of him. Eat up. If you don't, I'll force feed you. Can't force me, bitch. <laughs> Try me, oh, pretty no. boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Is this gonna be one of those brat dumb things? Oh, God. <laughs> if it does, whatever. Um, I will not read anything to explicit, though. <laughs> Blitzel became shocked and fluttered. <laughs> Being called pretty boy was all he ever wanted. <laughs> now I won't. <laughs> yeah. Now I won't say this again. Eat up or I'll make you. I'm eating food so hot. <laughs> Blitzel felt like he was being seduced by Striker's words. Being the bottom, he is he a best. <laughs> yes, does. Striker. <laughs> Striker realized what happened. <laughs> I gotta mentally prepare myself. For... It's okay. Got a pra got a praise king puppy. <laughs> oh my like loud shrieks of laughter, but uh, Blitzo just looked at the food and began eating to nor any talk about his kinks. That's the one he lets no one know. Oh, my puppy's gone quiet. <laughs> Trying to be good for your master. Blitzo <laughs> 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 finished the food and got up and quickly went to Stryker's room to take his meds. Stryker knew what he was going, what he was doing to Blitzo and decided to have a little fun with it. Thanks for all this so chapter! <laughs> Will there be smut next, or will it just be another Moxie interruption? Who <laughs> knows? I'm we hoping for the Moxie find interruption. Out soon. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this has just been sudden turns. Oh god, can we? Is there at least an author's note at the beginning that says "warning smut"? No. <laughs> no, there's not. Oh, it's made by Phoenix. Or right yeah i noticed that when i pulled up the fan fiction <laughs> well uh how many chapters does this have this is the last one because the next one is just like i got locked out of my account i'm so sorry <laughs> oh so that's the last one. yeah so this is like the last one so we could we could finish and never come back to this book ever again <laughs> okay perfect perfect that's perfect you no know that works well for every party of all <laughs> All right. If 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 you need me to, I can do the narration if you feel uncomfortable. It, it, it's okay. Uh, it, well, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. We'll see how this goes. All right. Before this starts here, will be makeup. I'll like, give us a warning. Okay. Yeah. At least there's a warning. <laughs> Fair. What's those POV? Shit! Shit! He knows my kink. He's gonna fuck. <laughs> I fiddled with the lock, but Striker had got there fast. Hey, Striker! Don't hey me, pet. Where you? Oh, uh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> I uh, shit, shit. <laughs> Start of the, the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for telling me that. Oh, I I don't think I would have noticed if they didn't put it in bold <laughs> <laughs> italics. <laughs> <laughs> in, <laughs> in caps. <laughs> I walked back into a wall, and Striker pinned me against it. <laughs> My little pit. <laughs> Striker's POV. I can see blitz of trembling under underneath me already, and I haven't done anything to him yet. I lowered my head and started biting his collarbone, leaving small love marks on his neck. <clears throat> Nig Striker. <laughs> Calm down, love. I can sense him getting weak, so I lifted him up and put him on the bed. 
Oh shit, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna make you scream my name, Blitz. <laughs> As I started biting his neck again, I gained a phone call. End of scene! Good. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm safe for now. For now. So aren't I so my. <laughs> I got up off him, giving him a small kiss on the check, and went to answer the call. <laughs> on the check! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? What took you so long to answer, Stryker? I was worried. Oh, this is his mother. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, shit. Nope, that's Stella. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I, I read that as mama. That's ma'am. I'm <laughs> sorry, ma'am. Have Blitz over. Still is fucking cheated on me with- I'm gonna stop you right there, ma'am. He forced Blitz to or Blitz business will be shut down. Stolas is the bad guy here, not Blitz. Oh, I'm sorry for assuming things. Is he okay? Yeah, what the fuck? She <laughs> would not react like that. No. <laughs> she would not just go, oh, I'm sorry for assuming things. <laughs> 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 like, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> no, you're right. This is, this is out of character for Stella. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for assuming things. Is he okay? <laughs> Thinks he's asleep, but right now he's fine. Thank God. It seems like he's a good person. <laughs> God, hold on. <laughs> mm-hmm. He also fuck he's also fucking adorable when he's You were about to fuck him, weren't you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes ma'am indeed. <laughs> Try hold, try hold off Striker and work on getting Stolas killed. Yes, ma'am. Good night. Night. <laughs> okay. Flips his point of view. I heard Striker sigh, so I got up and went over to see if he was okay. Striker, you. He looked at me. He was stressed. I held his hand, taking him to the bedroom. Why? <laughs> you seem stressed, so I thought we'd get some sleep. Ugh. Excuse me. It helped. I, you acting soft, you know that? Moxie Millie ain't here, so fuck it. Stryker picked me up, laid me on the bed in a comfortable position, he cuddled into me falling asleep. My eyes had started to get heavy, so I nuzzled him and fell asleep. Moxie's POV. Yeah. Me and Millie were sitting in the house. Hun, do you think he's okay? Of course, hon. If Blitz wasn't okay, Luna would have called her message by now. Okay, I'm just being a small bit worried. What if Stryker kidnapped him? Calm down, Mox. You're gonna have another panic attack. <laughs> I looked into Millie's eyes and started cuddling her. Thank you, Millie. And with that, I fell asleep. Dola's POV. Ooh. I sat in bed. Stella and had a via at her house, so I was alone. I picked up my phone and hovered over Blitzy's contact. I clicked call. Why the fuck are you calling at this time? Ooh. You're not Blitzy. What have you done with him? Fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's asleep because it's fucking 2 a.m. I wanted to fuck him, but oh well. <laughs> so. What's your question? On my TikTok for you page, why do I keep seeing nine-year-olds with cringy-looking filters on and <laughs> singing the songs? What song? I don't know. Uh, I mean, you did too. Well, yeah, but that's different. It's not different. <laughs> You're not quirky, I'm sorry. I'm reading a fan fiction out of my room. Thank you. <laughs> Just teasing, bye. Anyways. Sorry about that. <laughs> you're not quirky, you're not special. <laughs> I'm trying to read fan fiction. <laughs> Where were we? Oh yeah. I could hear movements in the background. Striker? What's 
Hi, Blitzy. Hang the fuck up. All right, darling. Thank you. What? He hang up? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Blitz so POV. He fucking called. I knew what he wanted and rested my head on Striker. This dude sends you the creepiest as fuck messages. Any recent last thing you messaged me was jelly sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Blitzy, I'm sorry, okay? I only want to f <laughs> fuck you without mercy. You, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> out, run on sentences. A lot. Can't tell. Can we not talk about the horny owl and just chill? Of course, pumpkin. <laughs> Thank. F before finishing my sentence, we had a loud smash in the room next door. Uh, Striker, what day is it? I'm pretty sure it's. Oh shit. <laughs> no, not already. It's the end of the year. Yeah, it's that day. <laughs> I started panicking, only bringing them closer to us. I always hated execution day because I could lose those, those, loose those I care about. I was afraid they'd take Striker from me. My mind was a blur and I just fell asleep on Striker and he was, and as he was rocking me. Okay. <laughs> Striker POV. Who you fuckers looking for? Someone named, the ex executioner say, someone named question mark. Wrong ring, buddy. They're in the greed ring. Oh, apologies for panicking your boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> right, well, we'll be off. Goodbye, sir. I love that. For this execution, they just knock on your door and they're like, excuse me, we're looking for uh, Mr. Jonathan. <laughs> oh, is that you? Okay, it just like locks gun. <laughs> Like it's a fucking uh sale hit. I was thinking oh, more sorry. of like oh, no. I was thinking more of the uh like um like the military just shows up and you're like, alright, so I see on your paperwork <laughs> that you're eighteen years old. It's time to enlist, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> After they had left and I knew they were gone, I set Blitz on a comfortable position, making sure he was okay for sleeping. Didn't already do that. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. I left the room and got some drinks for us. Isn't he sleeping? Whatever. Mm. And I know I just done two bad events in one, but I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> Taying to get over 1,500 words each chapter. Crying emoji, crying emoji. <laughs> I feel you there, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard Blitzo waking up softly, so I went into the room so we wouldn't panic. <laughs> Striker! I don't think it worked. <clears throat> next to him taking his hand as he frantically looked around the room. Right here, yeah. darling. I think I think he might. What happened? She turned around facing me and clung onto me as if I were about to die. Think, 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 fuck. She <sighs> left on me, giving me a huge hug. You're okay now, darl. <laughs> Third person POV. Stryker held Blitzo close to him, and Blitzo cherished it. He didn't know if he would leave. Time skip. Blitzo, Millie, Moxie, and Luna were getting ready for another job. Mox. Mox! Hmm? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Blitzo could hear the panic in Moxie's voice. Our mission? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> the three left in the human world and finished the job. No details! <laughs> 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 bad back in this to the world. La Lonnie Lonnie? I think you meant Looney. <laughs> I know, but it says Lonnie. <laughs> what? Do you want to have some father and daughter time? He was smiling. This was the side Luna was used to. Sure, we can go to Lulu Land. It burnt down. <laughs> No, they rebuilt it. Really? Let's go then. With that, Blitzo and Luna left the office building. So what first? Just follow me, okay? Okay, okay Looney. There we go. The pair won wondered around 
the place for a while, and then Luna found what she was looking for. Here! They went inside the building and Blitzo saw the one person he had missed the most. What?! <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, cliffhanger. What the fuck kind of cliffhanger is that?! <laughs> Last updated, April 19. Damn it. Oh, uh, well. So <laughs> I'll add this to my things to read for shit. Making sure that, that I have this just in case it uploads again. <laughs> That would be so funny if, like, six months later, it's just, oh, hey guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, here's your next chapter. <laughs> I don't know how you- What a cliffhanger talking about Blitzo's mom. Yeah. Dude, the oh next God, episode so talks about Stryker and everything, so I want- Oh no. So I wonder if they're, like, on this pause. This is real. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe. This is- this is gonna be canon. <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> so, what would you think of the fan fiction you picked? <laughs> Cause oh, my, it was as, it was as great as I thought it would be. <laughs> it met my ex expectations. However, you want to take that. <laughs> I loved all the bad spelling, especially ones that like the like the next letter would be the the letter they just pressed and. <laughs> Just like put something else. A number. Yeah, a number. <laughs> honestly, I think if it didn't have it, it wouldn't be that funny. Like, uh, honestly, it's probably a thirteen-year-old. Like yeah, it says you're. Uh, you're not thirteen to eight. Yeah, they're definitely teen. Yeah. I love making fun of teenagers. Woo! <laughs> me too. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you for having me. No. I am excited for more cringe. <laughs> no problem. I This was lovely. If you guys would like to check out this book, I'll have it linked down below if they ever update ever again. <laughs> Yay! And thank hopefully, you, hopefully I can have Gummy back again. This was absolutely fun. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> I will also have their their little uh, social medias at the, uh, down below as well if you ever want to look at them. They make great art. I give them way Do too it. much money. Do it. <laughs> Do it. All right, but my name is Phoenix. This is Gummy, and we'll see you guys next Bye. time. Bye-bye.